All right, so we are back and now we're going to do some practice EKGs and um, see what we've learned. What's it, Josefa? That's good. Can you guys hear me or? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> Welcome to the Zoom world. <laughs> That's I think I, I think okay. that's the quote for 2020. Can you guys hear me? Oh yeah, okay. we can hear you. Yep. <laughs> yep. It's it's gonna be called the Zoom year. The Zoom year. The can you guys hear me here? <laughs> anyway, all right. Let's begin. Okay. So as we discussed in the previous video, right? So first step for the isoelectric method is to see which lead has the positive and negative deflection. Um, which lead has them equal. So let's see, uh, lead one, it's mostly uh, positive, lead two, mostly positive again, lead three is mostly negative. Um, um, then AVR is mostly negative, AVL is mostly positive, and AVF is mostly positive as well. So I think I'm gonna go with um, three as my isoelectric lead. Uh, what do you think, uh, Nakia? I think we could get away with saying that three is the isoelectric lead. Sure, I mean, it's, it's a close match between three and AVF, but I, I'm sure that you know, even if you use this method and you know, um, if they're close, you can still get the answer. So let's try it with three and we'll try it with AVF. Oh, okay. So uh, we've come down to three, we've narrowed down three as the isoelectric lead, right? You guys remember what the next step is? So the next step is to find the lead perpendicular to three. So which is the lead perpendicular to three? So that's going to be our AVR, right? So now we're going to look at we're what is the Q. Like the star method, like where we just draw a star and that's our mnemonic for that. Mm -hmm. So lead three goes to AVR, AVF goes to lead one, and two goes to AVL, right? So that gives us our perpendicular lead. So we narrow down lead three. We're going to call it for this purposes as our isoelectric lead. Um, and then the lead perpendicular to that is going to be AVR. You guys remember what the third step is? So the third step is to look at what is the deflection in AVR. It's negative, right? And at this point, we're going to uh, keep, uh, we're going to write down the numbers in our head on each lead for a positive deflection number, a negative deflection number for each lead. Yeah, and it's going to be 0, 60, 120. That's the easy part. And then one, negative 150, negative 30, and 90 is going to be like a... We've like discussed a, in the previous video how we got these numbers and what's a good mnemonic to um, know these numbers, right? So now in AVR, minus 150 would be for a positive deflection, correct? Mm -hmm. But here the deflection is negative. So what's the corresponding number for minus 150 on lead AVR? And we said that it's gonna be like an X, so, and then the, the sign would change, that's so like 30. So that's 30, right? And now to narrow it further down, what's the step four? So from AVR, we got a negative reflection, and negative reflection is 30, right? Now to narrow it down further, um, what was the fourth step, Nakia? Um, so we'll go back to the isoelectric lead and we see what the deflection is for the isoelectric lead. Like, is it mostly positive or mostly negative? And you know, what 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 it is. So, oh, here we can see that probably like lead three might be more negative. I could be wrong, but you know, it looks like mostly negative to me. Um, yeah, for oh, me, yeah. I, I think I'm just gonna call it, um, it still kind of looks just uh, equal to me, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe I, I, I'll take a, um, I'll take a dig at this and just call the number as 30. 30, okay. 
So um, it, say if we didn't want to call it 30 um, and we, so because we, you know, we give it 30 is the number, but you know, it's still in a range of like negative 60 to zero. And then if you wanted to narrow it down a little more, but I think 30 is good enough. Um, all right, so let me see what the computer read it as. Oh, and they read it as 23, so that's really good. We got it. Um, just to do a trial run, say if we did use 90 as our isoelectric, like, like I was saying in AVF. Like AVF? Um, okay, so let's, um, let's run through that scenario, that case scenario. So first step, which is the isoelectric, so maybe we are calling AVF because AVF and three are pretty close and we've already gone through a case scenario through three. So now let's call AVF as isoelectric. What's yeah. the next step? See the lead which is perpendicular to AVF. What's that one, Nakia? It's lead one, so it's zero. And then we have to look at whether it's positive or negative. Um, I was gonna say you are muted, but. Yep. Uh, so lead one is positive, right? So what's the number for that one? So it's going to be zero. Um, and then yep. you go back to the isoelectric lead and kind of see if it's mostly positive or negative. So this one looks mostly positive, right? So um, maybe just go with something between zero to 10. So I'm still going to call it zero. But mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, maybe. that wouldn't. No, so like I was thinking that maybe if you you still have yeah so that but so you have to really get the isoelectric lead right because right. After, yeah. if you don't then you know you're you're I mean you still get a zero which is like you know or maybe like if you count this as positive towards ninety you could probably get away with like a fifteen degree but that's you know I mean it's still close to twenty three to be honest. It's still close. So I, I think if you get it close to plus minus 15, mm -hmm. uh, it should still work. Um, so yeah, like that wouldn't make a lot of difference on the uh, right axis, left axis, and the normal axis um, on, in a general perspective. All right. And then um, we, you know, besides reading the axis, we also have to look at something that is staring right at us as if, what do you think? of the EKG in general? So um, I see a little bit of ST elevation in lead one, also in AVL. Yeah. And uh, uh, V2, V3. Mm -hmm. So it's like- V4. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So- A um, little bit of V5, I think. Mm -hmm. So it's mostly like, anterolateral leads, right. mostly highlateral as well. Um, since you're talking about a lot of mnemonics, the way I remember this is SAL. It's stupid, but I don't know if that helps. Um, so these are the septal ones, V1 and V2, V3 and V4 are anterior, and then V5 and V6, so SAL. And then one and AVL are lateral, and then two, three AVF are your inferior leads. But just wanted to throw that out there. So do you want to do another one? All right. Um, Okay, so um, again, we're gonna start with the first step. So you guys remember what the first step is? So it's to figure out which is the isoelectric lead, right? So in one, the deflection of QRS is mostly upwards. Two, I'm gonna keep that aside for now. Three, it's mostly negative. V1 is negative. AVR again is just negative. AVL is just positive, AVF is mostly negative. So I'm gonna call my isoelectric one as two as my isoelectric lead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I just wanted to, you know, yeah, and I, I just wanted to say, because you were like in the flow and you read V1 as well. So V1 is like a precordial lead, so we don't really, you know, look at that. Oh, but yeah. yeah, 
mm-hmm. just look at the limb leads. Um, all right, so yeah, yeah. I, think, I think two is pretty much electric, yeah. Mm-hmm. So what's the next step, guys? Um, after we figure out what's the, the isoelectric lead, we go to the lead perpendicular to it. So now we're again going to recall our star mnemonic for that. So lead two, perpendicular to lead two is AVL. Now in AVL, what's the deflection like? Is it positive or negative? It's mostly positive. Now what's the third step, guys? It's recalling the numbers again. So one is your zero, two is your 60, then 120, then minus 150, minus 30, and plus 90. And now in AVL, because it's positive and the positive number which corresponds to it is minus 30. Now to narrow it down further, what's the next step, guys? You go back to the isoelectric lead. Isoelectric lead here is lead two. And it's mostly equal, so I'm not gonna say one is more than the other. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna stick to minus 30. All right. What do you think, Nakia? Yeah, Yeah, I, I think I would agree with that. Let's see what the computer read it as. So the computer read it as negative 28, which is pretty good. So yeah. Works, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it takes a while. Let, let's um Nakia, let's... just for the sake of completion, do you want to write down the numbers corresponding to 0, 60, 120, all um, of that? The numbers corresponding like the negative ones? Yep, the negative ones. So yeah. zero is for the positive deflection lead one. What and is negative then, deflection 180 and lead one? Yeah, so the way I What's remember the... zero and 180 and then 90 and negative 90 for A because that's that's super simple. And then make like, I'm just going to use my eraser here and make like um, an X. And then the number corresponding to that would be like um, a negative number. So this will be negative. Um, 120, this will be negative 60, and then make another X here. So this would be positive 30 and positive 150. Um, I think your audio got cut out for the for the uh, for a second here. That sounds good. Oh, okay, perfect. All right, so let's go for another one. Um, Sorry for the wait, I'm just like using sniping tool because it's such an awesome um, tool to add. That's all right, Nakia, we charge by the minute, so. (laughs) 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 Okay, all right, do you want me to do this one? Because I I think you're probably tired of hearing this, doing it. Sure, Uh, go ahead. Okay, so, uh, because I'm like, uh, like, Josefa is super thorough, but like, I'm like, you know, Oh, let's look at the ne- the isoelectric one quick, and then I, I think I'll let you do it, you know, because you are you're more thorough. Oh, okay, so what is the first step, guys? Um, as we discussed previously, first step is to find the isoelectric lead. So I'm gonna keep the lead one aside for now. Uh, I'm gonna keep aside the lead two for now as well. So in lead three, it's mostly positive. Lead AVR is mostly positive. Lead AVL kind of uh, (laughs) looks isoelectric as well, but AVF is mostly positive. So now I'm gonna go back to lead one, two, and AVL. Um, Yeah, Uh, yeah, this one's a little little tricky. Uh, All three of them look kind of isoelectric. Um, Let's see, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and call lead two as my isoelectric one lead two all right we can do that um let's see if we uh get to the same answer but mm -hmm. yeah so lead two uh, i'm gonna go ahead and call that as my isoelectric one what's the next step guys um we're gonna find the lead perpendicular to it so what's perpendicular to lead two 
AVL. Now, in AVL, we're going to see whether the deflection is mostly upwards or downwards. Now, it kind of uh, feels right in the middle. It mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of feels like isoelectric. But um, let's go ahead and put the numbers down. So for AVL, as we remember, it's going to be minus 30 for the positive deflection, right? Mm -hmm. And plus 150 for the negative one. Um, I'm not sure, Nakia. I think I'm, uh, I might just go with. I mean, it kind of does look a little bit like more negative. I don't know. Like, because you see, I mean, I'll probably have to zoom in, but oh, I can't. Um, this also has, generally, it has low voltages in the entire EKG, right? So mm -hmm. Yeah. That kind of uh, is confusing. I, I feel like, you know, like, like it, it's more negative, to be honest. Like, I mean, I get that it's, I don't know. Yeah, so, so you want to call it plus 150? I think so, yeah. I mean. Okay. okay. And to narrow it down, just for the sake of completion, we go to the isoelectric one, which we called your as lead two. But uh, that again <laughs> is pretty uh, equidistant. Yeah, pretty it's pretty equal. So yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and call it plus 150. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, I mean, I would say, like, it's probably a little bit more positive, but, um, you know, we'll see. All right. So let's look at what the computer did. I, I really hope we get this one right. <laughs> it was a tough one. And it was 153. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, this this is pretty tricky. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I I guess I would like, cause like you know you could be thrown off, and and we tested the the theory in in the other EKGs as well, where if we say we got an incorrect lead, we we had the incorrect answer, but it was kind of close, like you know, in the previous EKG. So say if you were to say if you chose zero as like your isoelectric lead and then you would go to plus 90 and then it's more positive um so and yeah you and if you chose um avl as your isoelectric you would yeah. go to lead two and then that would be plus 60. yeah so i guess the model of the story is like Get you your cannot, isoelectric right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's 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 always like really tough, but um, I guess you have to get it right if you if you want to get it right by this method. All right, whoo, that was that was tough. I was I was rooting for you, Zefa. I think I would have gotten that wrong. <laughs> but yeah, that's just uh, um, I think it's because of the low voltages, and um, there might be uh, better techniques to uh, confirm the same so maybe we'll talk about all of that in the future videos what yeah, do you think maybe, yeah maybe there's something we don't know yep for sure there's always yeah. a lot of uh, something that we don't know <laughs> yeah so well, hopefully you know next year I, I'll, I'll know because i'm gonna be a cardiology fellow <laughs> hopefully hopefully <laughs> all right um so here's another one. Okay, you want to discuss this in the upcoming videos? Oh, okay. All right. So that's all for today. I think so. so hello. I think so. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I hope you guys learned something today, and um, and that's it. Stay we we awesome. sure learned a lot while uh, going through all of these uh, different uh, methods of calculating the access. So we had a lot of fun. Uh, hope you guys had fun too. Sure. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Stay awesome, you guys, and stay tuned for more. Bye.